Danny Brown, I played Peeper the Telescope. And it was a great honor to do that. I liked Danny Brown a lot. It was a funny, it was a funny show. The dialogue was funny. Um, and now people have noticed me uh, in the new Netflix film Cuties. And it's been an honor to be in that. And it's just such a, a real treat. I am one of the cuties. And I play a young woman who is being exploited sexually. And uh, people are in arms about it. They're up in arms about it. Uh, I've not seen this. Kurt Metzger, my friend, I was talking to him last night, and he said this is an intersectional car crash because you have uh, a woman of color director who's trying to, I guess, shed light on the idea that young girls are being exploited sexually. But how did they shed light on the idea that young girls were being exploited sexually? By sexually exploiting young girls. So supposedly the last scene in this film is so disturbing and such clear like bait for pedophiles that it's so absurd that there's nationwide campaigns, cancel Netflix. People are canceling Netflix, which I thought I saw cancel Netflix. I said, yeah. I have to do a Jenny Slate. But no, it's, the, <laughs> it's cuties. I'm kidding. Love Jenny and the whole uh, squad. Um, but cuties, have you seen cuties? I have not seen it yet. I You're lying. It. I have. You've been watching cuties. That's a real sick. By the way, how sick is it? Like, that's the real fucking, somebody calls you and they're like, hey, I, uh, I found a movie on Netflix that's great. You might want to check it out. What's it called? Cuties. By the way, the name sounds like a dark web CP website. Yeah, yeah. Cuties. And the marketing for the thing is not good. Like, the marketing for it is not. Like, we're shedding light on the issue of exploitation of minors. The marketing for it is like, look at these bitches twerk. That's the problem. The problem is the marketing is like, it's female empowerment. Yes, queen. I'm 11 years old and here's my pussy. And it's like, whoa, whoa. I mean, the marketing for this is out of control. Why does that girl in the back kind of look like Val Kilmer? The point is this. <laughs> Terrifying. This is not appropriate. Get it off the screen. We just show it for a minute. We don't want to have this. Let's not have that be the backdrop, please. <laughs> God only knows. The point is that people are angry justifiably at cuties. Shapiro, Ben Shapiro had a good take on it where he was like, the message is getting lost kind of in the marketing of the film. Mm -hmm. Because I think the marketing, of the, the, the you have so many different, you know, buzzwords here going on. It's like female empowerment. And then also like exploitation. So it's like you have these young, scantily clad minors in doing very sexually suggestive dances mm -hmm. on Netflix. This is, the set is about to come down. The set is about to come down. Are you? Hold on. I'm going to get them. Hold on. This is the producer of Cuties. This is why he's trying to destroy the show. Stand up. Now sit. Sit. Please sit. Sit down. Sit. Have you seen cuties? Is this why you're trying to destroy the show? Do you have any respect for anything? When he first met Oscar, Oscar really f tried to fuck him up. And Duncan didn't understand because Duncan didn't understand. He didn't understand that there was evil in the world until he met Oscar. And Oscar just tried to attack him for absolutely no reason. And Duncan's just trying to... Duncan, Duncan it's a podcast. I mean... What is the history of this dog? Like these dogs, how do they even come about? It's so crazy. But what the point here is that cuties is uh, are really getting people angry. Mm -hmm. I've not seen it. I don't really plan on seeing it. I don't plan on seeing cuties. 
Duncan, you're a cutie, are you? Now he's fucking up the sound. You can't do this, Duncan. 9-11 just came and passed. <laughs> Duncan, what do you think about 9-11? All right, you have to get down now. You have to get down. Oh, God. He's such a monster. Hold on, hold on. Get him down. Say goodbye every, to everyone, Duncan. We got to talk about 9-11 now, Duncan. He's so heavy. He's so incredibly heavy.